Um, today we're talking about uh, diesel heaters and installing one in our 6x10 off-road trailer conversion camper whatever you want to call it our bug out vehicle whatever uh, you can see that uh, we have a fireplace in here that runs on 120 it works great our old standby uh, propane mr. buddy works great um, mainly have it in here now as a last resort uh, just because of the amount of condensation you're burning oxygen um, it does have all the sensors we know we can use them indoors we've used them in here before um, you just got to keep windows vented um, and keep track of the ventilation um, anyway this is a little six by ten sorry the bed's not made uh, we're getting ready to go out um, so anyway um, the uh, fireplace will run a 120 uh, it'll run off the generator we run the generator no issues if you want some peace and quiet though we wanted a different option so these three vents here if i can get it to focus these three vents here are our diesel heater um you can hear how quiet it is i don't have any heat coming out of the fireplace right now okay so we move around the wall here we have got a lot of wires to dress up so please forgive me um i did the four vent diesel heater um i just wanted that instead of the uh the big single hole um this one here you can open it up if you want to warm it up in here um this will come into play later on when we're when we convert over to lithium batteries and we want to keep our batteries a little warmer so they'll charge but you can turn that off and this doesn't get hot so only the ones that open you know get warm anyway um i'm i fabricated a through floor bracket um i saw the ones that were online came from a land far far away and uh, were extremely expensive for what they were so we just fabricated this one i'll show you some pictures of it, it cost me about ten dollars to fabricate it um, in metal so here we are running I've got it set at 16 degrees it's on the lowest fan setting the lowest fuel consumption it is right now um, I have the door open if I didn't have the door open this thing would steadily be climbing um, even on the lowest setting that is the only drawback that I have found to the diesel heater is it never actually cuts off even in the temperature setting um, it will not shut itself down until you shut it down um, it will never stop running. It just runs on the lowest setting. You can see the one bar right there. Um, so that just means that it'll run on the lowest fan setting and the lowest fuel consumption. Um, but it will never stop burning it, you know, in the combustion chamber. So no matter what, even with this one, it is quiet, um, requires, uh, just 12 volt to operate, uh, but you still have to vent a window. Um, otherwise it will get like a hot box in here and uh, drive you crazy so no matter what you still have to ventilate it and what we do is we just open up the max air uh, fan we don't actually turn the fan itself on we just open up the uh, the lid and it draws enough to where it keeps it pretty comfortable if we need to we can open the windows and do some cross ventilation okay so here is the through floor bracket that I fabricated you can see it's very simple, um, but it keeps everything from getting hot on the floor, keeps everything out of the way. I ran it over here to the front, um, out of the way, um, mounted my fuel pump right here against the, the uh, trailer frame. You can't even feel it clicking. You can hear it, but inside, once the door's closed, you cannot hear anything. Anyway, if you're gonna install one of these through the floor, I would recommend buying one of these or building one just to keep everything away from combustibles. So anyway, that's uh, that's our install for this. Um, if you're interested or have any questions, comment below. Um, I can do a video on the controller. Um, it's pretty simple there, but there's a lot of videos on there on how to go into the menus and how to change all the parameters and and um, make it do what you want it to. Basically, um, I've left it alone.